It was July 14th. I came to this place uh, with my son. We came right here. In fact, I sat here and he sat there. Just being in this room helps me remember very defining moments for me. This is an incredibly special place. It gets me fired up now that I'm like thinking about it again. <laughs> This is the room that I received a lung cancer diagnosis. They didn't just care about my name on a chart. They cared about me as a person. I bring my entire family on every single office visit that I come. We sit in this room and we just unload with questions. And I can't tell you how comforting that is because at the end of the day, when we leave the office, we feel better than when we got to the office. So this was the clinic I came to to see Dr. Thompson. You know, obviously I am not a brain surgeon, and so you need to have someone else who champions your cause and is ready and there for you to explain and explain every step of the way. In that moment, it told me that everything was gonna be okay. Parker has schizophrenia. I was told that he was gonna have to enter through the regular Vanderbilt emergency room. I just had some fear about that. And the Vanderbilt police officer was standing out in the hallway. I said, my, my son is very, very kind, but he's in psychosis right now. So he came in and he stood right here and he talked to Parker. And Parker, even in his psychosis, he related so well to this police officer. I'll never ever forget the way that Parker and I both were treated that night. We have been frequent flyers here at Vanderbilt Children's Hospital for six years now. And as a mom, you really are afraid that their important information could get out. So when Vanderbilt makes that promise that our information, my daughter's information is gonna be held privately, those aren't just words on a page. Those are words that have meaning and they have value to every single patient that comes in these doors. The fact that I'm a musician and travel all over the country for a living, and they were able to work with me and my schedule to make sure that I had the care that I needed, to make sure that I was able to get back to my livelihood as soon as possible, meant a great deal. I think that the promises are important because it, it goes beyond just the normal human interaction. From my first appointment at Vanderbilt with my doctor, we talked about things like planning for the future and continuing on with getting married and even making accommodations to someday have a family of our own. <laughs> to go from what was the darkest time of my life to what can now be the most positive, bright time of my life there's not enough words to express what that means to me. 